The biggest unexpected twist in a viral story we never saw coming. What? It's Brooke and Jeffrey in Sounds the morning. Juicy. I know. Things on the internet can blow up and get millions of views for all sorts of reasons. Yeah, yeah. literally. So, sometimes it's like a hilarious prank. Mm -hmm. Other times it's a gorgeous mugshot photo. Oh, man. <laughs> Seriously, though. And recently, we accidentally had a 30-second blooper video go viral. <laughs> Of us failing to make a human table. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. It was a fail. It's and a, it wasn't even that funny. I mean, I don't... To, we've to, done much funnier things And than to that. remind you, we did successfully do the human table, and that didn't do crap online. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, this one did. Yeah, this really dumb video, last I checked, had 1.2 million views. <laughs> so, I guess you, if you want to see it for yourself, it's on the Brooke and Jeffrey Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you never know what's going to catch fire online. Right. But one story did recently out of England. And now everybody's talking about it. Ooh, okay. It's gotten over 40,000 retweets and 313,000 likes on Twitter in Dang. less than 24 hours. Dang! Oh. That's quick. And it all began with a simple text message from a dad to his young adult son. Okay. And it said, got some bad news. Kitty has been missing since last night. Oh, their little cat. And when your mom drove the neighborhood just now, yeah. she found her in the street near Aww. the house. Family Jeffrey, I thought this was going to be a fun story. Know, isn't yeah. it juicy? He says, your mom's pretty emotional, so please yeah. reach out when you can and offer support. Oh, so, buddy, that, that makes tough. me cry a little bit. Eric responded with his condolences, yeah. and the sister came home also to mourn their pet. Yeah. Because the cat had been a valued member of the family for years, so everybody yeah. was really yeah. heartbroken totally. about it. Like and, I said, it's like a family member. Yeah, and so to honor them, they decided they were going to go out to a meadow half mm -hmm. mile from the house and bury their beloved pet. Yeah. yeah. We and buried our dog in our backyard. Dude, there's so many pets on my parents' property. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What is a it? Pet pets, yeah. I mean, <laughs> rabbits. Dogs, what? pets, fish. Are you fish, just burying yeah. random fish? animals? Yeah, well, they die, Alexis. They don't live forever. <laughs> I just, I just, I just pets just, or are yes. you just like finding them? Okay, continue. You don't do the flush it down the toilet with the fish. No, right, they, that's mean. No, they deserve a burial. Well, no, they deserve the burial out in the in Dude, the water. It's a I am Viking not putting burial. one it's of our pets where I put the other stuff okay. that's in my body. Okay. You can eat fish and put it in the toilet. Okay. 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 <laughs> anyway, we're digressing yeah. quickly. Once the service was done and the tears were shed, they all walked back towards the house together to begin their post-kitty life. Yeah. yeah. But when they got closer to the home, something odd happened. They noticed, looking out at them from the second-story window, was the cat that what? they had just buried. Oh! What? No! It's risen! It's a zombie! What? Is this a pet cemetery type of situation? Oh! <laughs> so when they saw it, the sister screamed, oh mom God. almost fainted, dad rushed inside with the son. They just what? buried it! Turns out, it was their cat. No. What did they just bury? Well, that's what they ran back to the meadow. Yeah. And when they got there, you won't believe what they found. Shut up. What? They dug the hole back up, no. and the cat was gone. Oh! Shut up! Get out of here, cat. Oh, I'm just kidding. What? I'm just kidding. There, there was another cat in there. Oh, oh my God. Try. I have Wait. <laughs> Goosebumps. You're telling me this family loved their cat so much that they couldn't even tell it was their cat when yeah. they buried it? They accidentally buried someone else's cat. No! It, it, it kind of looked like theirs. Is anyone else? <laughs> this is so messed up. I know. I so, mean, I'm worried for the grandparents in their family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got the yeah. wrong grandpa. Yeah. They Sorry. come back home. Grandpa? Uh-oh. <laughs> so... At this point, they didn't know what to do with the other cat. Yeah. So, I mean, leave it buried. No. Okay? Throw it back no. in the street. Well, no, they felt bad, so they went door to door with a shoebox. No. And they asked each of their neighbors, is this your cat? <laughs> Worst door to door salesman ever. It's just going downhill. Like, it must smell awful. And eventually, one neighbor pointed out, I don't think that's a cat. What? What? Shut up. Turns out the mother buried a rabbit. <gasps> That no. resembled a cat. No. No. <laughs> it's a very so confused funny. family. They didn't even bury the right type of animal. No. Yeah. It's like, that's a salamander. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> so, what? The son posted the story online, and like oh, I said so before, funny. it went viral, oh. leaving oh, people in God. hysterics as they read about it. That is really funny. <laughs> 
hope they went and had a new service for the rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> if they should. Oh, my God. The funniest thing, though, is that... Rabbits have huge ears and cats don't. It should have been freaking obvious. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, that's all confusing. But the weird part about the story is that a lot of people were replying saying that this has happened to them, too. What? Oh. One fellow cat owner replied saying, this 100% happened to my in-laws. Found a cat out on the road, had her cremated. A few days later, cremated. mother-in-law was screaming that the cat was in the garden. Oh, that would be the scariest moment oh, of your life. God. You've already said your piece, you have closure, and then they're there. Well, what, oh my gosh. And what if you've moved on? What if you've already gotten a new cat? <laughs> like, yeah. Coming home with the new cat? <laughs> like, crap, now we have two cats. Another person <laughs> added, this exact thing happened to my family when I was younger. I woke up to my mom bawling. She sat me down to say our cat was no longer with us because oh, they wow. found her in the road. Aww. 45 minutes later, with both of us sobbing, my sister walks in the room with our cat curled in her arms. <laughs> oh, my God. Asking for McDonald's pancakes. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. I know. Yeah, that I should mean, be a McDonald's commercial. Yeah. <laughs> ba 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 Your cat's alive. <laughs> I do like it. I it's like it, too. Deal. Yeah. So, Brooke. Yeah. You want us to go viral again. You huh? need to go out and bury someone's mm. hamster right now. <laughs> You guys want me to go look for roadkill? Yeah, 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 just go bury something. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Can we pass a deer off for a dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It was a great day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually happening. Your phone tap's coming up right after.